What's up guys, it is Sam here, and I wanted to talk about testosterone. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. What's up, it's Sam, if you're back here again. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoy. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk um, the disclaimer that by no fucking stretch of the imagination is this a recommendation for you to do something stupid. Not, I'm not endorsing you do anything that I talk about in this video. I am just strictly giving you information through a cool little diagram. Hopefully it makes sense. I wanted to go over the half-life of testosterone in a little bit more detail and talk about your optimal range along with what I am doing. So what I'm doing is taking testosterone for a TRT type of a dose. That doesn't mean you should do this and this Everything I say in this video uh, in pertaining to that is under my doctor's supervision. So I'm not saying you should do any thing of the sort. Now, what is a half-life? A half-life is the time it takes for a compound to break down in your system. So with testosterone, you have different esters. Um, testosterone by itself is has a half-life of a couple hours, right? It has maybe a three or four hour half-life and it's basically out of your system within, you know, a very short period of time within one day or less. So that might be something that you could use at a different point in time, right? So each ester might have a different use potential, right? Every tool that you have in your garage or um, in your toolbox has a slightly different use. Like even if you have two flathead screwdrivers, one flathead screwdriver might be like, it's, uh, you know, a quarter of a centimeter long. One might be an inch long for fucking giant flathead screwdrivers, giant flatheads. Like it doesn't, or you could use it as a crowbar or something, you know, or a pry bar for certain things. Every tool has its use. It just depends what you're trying to accomplish. And just like a basketball is a useful tool for LeBron. It's not a useful tool for me because I can't fucking make millions of dollars using it. Um, that makes sense. So we are going to talk about cypionate and enanthate in, in this video, which the half-life on those is around seven days. Um, we're going to call it. You can make an argument for more or less, depending on the body mass and uh, some of your metabolism and other things. But just for simplicity, we're going to call it seven days. So what you do is we're going to talk about your optimal range, as I mentioned. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Let's pull this up here like this. Everybody has their optimal range. So we have these two black lines here and that represents, represents the optimal range for a person. And the actual level doesn't matter because everybody's optimal range is gonna be different. Somebody who's at the high, high end doesn't mean that that's your optimal level. Um, it just means you're at the very high end of a normal range. Maybe your optimal level is actually less because you actually get less side effects from that or you feel better, you know, um, and that could be from the side effects. Uh, so this, I didn't put any labels on it because it's just every individual person's optimal level, which is going to be different. This is where you are assuming that you have low testosterone, right? So this is, so if you're taking say SARMs, for an extended period of time and you had low testosterone, maybe you were down here where this red line is. And you take testosterone, right, at 200 milligrams, right, week one, week two, week three, week three, four, for five weeks. And it takes that amount of time to put you in your optimal range. And you may think, well, taking the same amount of dose, like I should be there at, as soon as that gets into my system. Well, what happens is, you take this, right, on, say, a Sunday or something, and you shoot up 200 milligrams, right, because you took 200 milligrams of testosterone cypionate, or anything, and over the course of the next seven days, you dropped. So the, what happens on that seventh day is you have half as much as you did seven days prior to that. So your 200 milligrams that you took last Sunday is now only 100. So you take another 200 on Sunday. That's your weekly dose. You shoot up 200. Now the total amount in your system is 300 milligrams. 
So you go to week number three. And week number three, you have this that goes, uh, you have another seven days, so half as much again, seven days later. So week one, you still have 50 milligrams in your system from week one, and now you're going into week three. Week number two, you have half as much as you started with, which was 200 milligrams. So now you have 100 from week number two, plus the 200 from week number three. So you add all those up, and you have a total of 350. Then you go on again. Week number four, you take 200 more milligrams, plus what's in your system. Well, we have 25 left over, 25 milligrams left over from week number one. We have 50 milligrams left over from week number two. And we have 100 milligrams left over from week number three. So the total is this plus these equals that. Your total testosterone level in this example here would be 375 milligrams that's in your system. Now, you come over here, week number five. Now, right, from week, from week number three to week number four, when you did your shot, now this puts you into your optimal range, right? Now, I'm gonna get into some more little nuance in a second, but week number five, you have, again, half of this, half of this, half of this, plus half of that. So you take all of those plus this here, and the, both of these all add up to 387.50. Now, what if, you, what if that's like not your optimal range, right? Maybe yours is lower, maybe yours is higher. Um, and you can play around with that with your doctor to get yourself in the optimal range for your own health markers and, and how you feel. And something that can also help with this is tremendously is you're working out in your diet. So if you're watching this and you're not doing the, you're just eating shit and you don't really work out, getting your diet in place, a lot of the things that people can eat in their diet actually can increase estrogen levels. So this could actually, um, your range maybe is 500, right? So then this would be adjusted, right? And this is week number five and you're in your range. Then there's week number six, right? Which I didn't even put on here. So week number six, you'd go out even further and it would go up a little bit higher. Then week number seven, it would go out a little bit, you know what I mean? It would keep going out until you're uh, at your optimal level. But generally speaking by like week number five-ish, you're going to be at the sustained level that you're going to be at given the dose that you're taking on a weekly basis. Um, but you could just adjust that, right? So some people take 125 milligrams a week. Some people take 150. Some people take 250. Some people take 300. So it depends on where you, what your individual level is. Because maybe you think more is better, but maybe your thyroid is off. Or maybe you're converting too much to estrogen and it's causing an issue, right? Like maybe there's other things going on where your optimal level is actually only 175 milligrams a week, but you're having these other side effects which make you think you need to take a higher level, a higher dosage of testosterone. In reality, you just need to take care of that specific side effect to feel better or optimal. And that's where going to the proper physician or talking to somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about is going to be beneficial for you. Anyways, I hope this, guy, I hope this video was helpful. If you know anybody else who is thinking about taking testosterone replacement therapy, share this video with them. Hopefully it will be helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, reach out to me on Instagram if you have anything, any other comments or want to follow along. I post there quite often. Link is in the description. I appreciate you guys. Peace.